Good morning, primary one. How are you today? Hope all of you are great and everything is okay. Who can tell me how many days are there in a week? Excellent, seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and finally, Saturday. Today we are going to start chapter one, which is talking about measure length, relative positions, ascending and descending. But first, let's make a revision about the first term. Are you ready? Yes. Color the write the number in letters. I will choose the number, this number. What's your name? My name is number one. How can I write one in letters? O and E one. O and E one. Great job. And what about you? What's your name? My name is six. How can I write six in letters? S I X six. S I X six. Great job. And what about you? What's your name? My name is number eight. How can I write number eight in letters? E I G H T eight. E I G H T eight. Great job. Let's move to the next page. Read and color the whole tense. Who can remind me? How can I count by tens? Where is your magical hand primary one? Excellent! So all of you now count with me by your magical hand. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Great job! Let's start our first topic today, which is talking about the length. Which is talking about the length. This year we are going to start the measuring the length by using non-standard unit. What the meaning of non-standard unit? Non-standard unit like the pens, rectangle, square, matches, spoons, forks, any objects I can measure the length of I can measure the length of the straight line. For example, here I have a straight line. How many pens do we have to measure the length of this straight line? One, two, three. So, I have three pens to measure length the straight line. So, the, this, this straight line is three pens. Okay, let's see the next one. How many green rectangles here units to measure length this straight line? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, the measure length of this straight line is six unit with the rectangle so it, the measure length is six yards so now let's move to examples to be more cleared okay find the length using using the band let's see the first one number a what can you see here i can see short straight line so guess with me how many pounds need to measure this this straight line I think I need one pen. Excellent. So, this straight line needs one pen. Number B. This straight line needs how many pen? I think it needs two pens. Excellent. So, the measure length of this straight line is two units. And number C. How many units do we have to measure the length of this straight line? I think this straight line needs three pens. So, the length of this straight line is three units number b find the lens using the rectangle let's see number a how many green rectangle i need how many rectangle units i need to measure the length of this straight line count with me one two three four five six i need to i need six units to measure the length of this straight line Let's see number D. How many straight line I need to measure length uh, to measure the length of this straight line? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I need eight units to measure the length of a straight line. Excellent. Let's see number F. How many units I need to measure the length of this straight line? So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9. I need 9 units to measure the length of this straight line. I think it's too easy. You can complete the rest of the page. Now, let's see the next concept. What is the difference between short and tall? So, look at this boy. Is this boy is tall or short? I think it's a tall boy. This boy, this boy is tall and this boy is short. I think it's too easy to differentiate between tall and short. Now, let's know about the ascending and descending concept. A, a, ascending start with letter A. A is for ant. A for ant. The ant is small or big? Ant is small. So, in the ascending order, I will, uh, I will arrange the number from the smallest to the biggest. Ascending means small, so I will start from the smallest to the biggest. But in descending, descending starts with letter D. D for what? D for dinosaur. D for what? D for dinosaur. And the dinosaur is big. So I will start arranging the number from the biggest to the smallest. From the biggest to the smallest. So to be clear, let's solve these examples. Write the tallest or shortest. Here I have two pyramids. Which one is the shortest? This, this one or that one? Excellent. This one is the shortest. And this one is tallest. Here I have this three. Is it shortest or tallest? This three is shortest. Excellent. And this one is tallest. Great job. Now, arrange the following bars. I have a lot of bars and I need to arrange them. And ascending order. Now arrange them in ascending order. A ascending means A for ant. A for ant. So I will arrange them from the smaller or shortest to the biggest or the tallest. Which one is the smallest or the shortest? I think number D. Excellent. The smallest one is D. So I will write D, then I will cross it out. Now look. A, B, C. Which one is the smallest or the shortest? Excellent. Number B. So, I will write number B. Then I will cross it out. Then I have A and C. C is the smallest. So, I will write C. Then I will cross it out. And finally, I will write A. So, now I arranged the boards on ascending order. Let's arrange them now in descending. Descending start with letter D. D for dinosaur, so I will arrange them from the biggest to the smallest. Which one is the biggest number B? So I will write B first, then I will cross it out. A, C, D, which one is the, is the, the biggest? D. So I will write D, then I will cross it out. A and C, I will write C, then I will cross it out, then finally I will write A. So now I will arrange them into... Descending order. Let's move to the next topic, which is talking about relative possessions. Relative possession or prepossessions that we take it before on the KG. So what the meaning of the relative possessions like in front of, behind, in, on, above, below, under, inside, outside, and so on. So let's see the, the this picture. What can you see here? I can see bicycle and the, and the car so what is the possession of the bicycle now the bicycle is behind the car the bicycle is behind the car and the car is in front of the bicycle the car is in front of the bicycle okay let's see the next picture i have three birds and horse so what is the possession of the horse the horse is under the tree the horse is under the tree and the birds are on the tree. The birds are on the tree. Now I have three animals and I need to know what is the possession of the mouse. The mouse is between the giraffe and the tiger. The mouse is between giraffe and the tiger. But the giraffe is to the left of the mouse. The giraffe is to the left of the mouse. And the tiger is the right of the of the mouse the tiger is the right of the mouse the last picture here i have a swimming pool or pool and i have chicken and duck 
What can you see? I can see the duck is inside the pool. The duck is inside the pool, but the chicken is outside. Let's solve the next examples. Okay, what can you see in this picture? I can see K to blind and the boy. So what are the possession what are the possession of the boy? The boy is in front of the cage of the line. The boy is in front of the cage of the line. And what about the cage of a line is behind the boy? Is behind the boy. Excellent, great job. Number B, color the shape which you see in front of the other. Here I have two shapes, square and triangle. Which one is in front of the other? The triangle is in front of the square. So I will color the triangle. Here I have circle and trapezoid. Which one is in front of the other? This trapezoid is in front of the circle. So I will color the trapezoid. Number C, color the shape which you see behind the other. Here I have two arrows. One of them is behind the other. Which one is behind? This one is behind. So I will color this, this arrow. Here I have square and circle. Which shape is behind the other? This square is behind. So I will color this square. I think it's too easy to complete the rest of the page. Now let's see. Left. The left kitty in yellow. Which kitty in the left? Yes, this one. This one is the left. So you can color this kitty with the yellow color. And here, color the right ball in a green. Which ball is in right? Excellent, this ball is in right. So you can color this ball with the green color. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye.